Hi everyone, I'm Erica Taylor, and I got a chance to sit down with the cast of Baggage Claim. That's a new film based on the novel by David E. Talbert, who also directs the film. Here's my sit down with the stars of the film, Paula Patton, Boris Kojo, Christina Milian, Lauren London, Tia Maori, and Lala Anthony. It's something you don't want to miss. Check it out. You're just a sophomore in college. You barely know what you want to major in, much less who you want to spend the rest of your life with. Why now? Why not now? He's a great guy. And I'm not trying to wait until I'm all old, like... Like me. Talk to me about how much fun it was to do this film. You know what, this was a dream come true for me. This is a movie that I have loved for a long time, and it's script formation. I, I read this script when I was making Just Right, before I was even pregnant, and I laughed out loud when I read it. I thought this is an opportunity of a lifetime. We wanted you to be the first to know. Derek proposed with a two-carat diamond ring. I just can't go to my little sister's wedding single. Why is it so hard to find the right guy? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. It's not very often that you get a chance as a black woman to be a lead in a romantic comedy. Yeah. Let's face it. And it was so well written. David Talbot did a great job. And then I read the book, and I loved the book. I was out of breath watching you run through the airport because I know how that feels. <laughs> like, you just, like, deserve a gold medal. Oh, gold thank medal you. For that. Thank <laughs> you. How much running did you do through I, the airport in Ontario? I did a lot of running. I, I think I have, like, numb toes. <laughs> I have toes that don't even, I can't feel them anymore. But, I, I, you know, but to me, that's the fun of acting, is to give yourself over to it 1,000%. The chemistry that you guys had on screen was amazing. Did he pop the question? I'm oh, on a fire. I'm gonna assume that's a no. You know, watching it, it's like, oh my gosh, it's Paula Patton and it's Boris Kojo, and they're lip locking and they're kissing really And they're well. married. And they're married. <laughs> like, what in the world? <laughs> it's called legal cheating. That was a really awesome kiss between you and Paula. Like, y'all have really great chemistry on, on, on set. You know, on screen, you guys, yeah. you worked it out. Love scenes are always tricky yeah. because you got 30 people in the room. It's not intimate. It's not personal. Right. It's wide open, and you just have to make it work. I am not going over to that man's house. Do you know how crazy that would make me look? Hello? I'm in the trash can. Are you nuts? Hello? We said, you know what? Just let's, let's just go for it because it's got to be real. It's yeah. got to look real. So um, we did, and it came across OK. Well, it definitely did come across OK. You have got to see that opening scene. See the whole movie, but it's just something about that opening scene. Yeah. yeah. What's the key to staying married? Because that was one of the themes in the film. Getting married is easy. Yeah. Staying married is, is where it's at. Yeah. It's about communication. It's about being open. It's about learning each other's dance steps and knowing what the other one likes and doesn't like. It's about it's about having fun. It's about putting your uh, relationship first. Yeah. You know, setting priorities. Um, my wife and my kids are my priority. Mm -hmm. Everything else falls into place somewhere. It's, it's a great movie because there's so many talented people in there, and, and I love working with pa Paula and, and Derek. And David is a great director. He's very empowering. He's very collaborative. And you know, Jamin and Taylor are my brothers. You know, I've known him forever, and um, so to be hanging out with them, I'd do that for free anytime. Damon, I know you hear me. Who is that? She's crazy in a movie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Damon! Damon, you better... Okay, yeah, this character right here. Shut this damn door! I am the crazy one in the film. <laughs> I had a lot of fun doing it. Taylor is, uh, I play Derek Luke's girlfriend, who's kind of very quirky, very fun kind of bounces around everywhere. Um, it seems like a very perfect relationship, but not everything that glitters is the the gold, nemesis. right? Exactly. <laughs> kind of the nemesis, too. Yeah. <laughs> this film, it's about finding, you know, the right guy, the perfect guy if he exists. And I don't know that she goes about it the right way. He just wanted international travel booty. That man could have had intergalactic travel booty. I've learned that the perfect man doesn't exist. <laughs> I've learned that, and I've just learned that, you know, you have to just find out what you will and will not put up with because everyone's going to come with something. Like, no one's perfect. Think if you're searching for that perfect relationship, that perfect marriage, you're, you're just never going to find it, and you're just going to constantly never be satisfied because you're just looking for something that really, to me, doesn't exist. My husband and I, we did break up for a little bit, for a period of time. Mm -hmm. We've been together for 14 years, mm -hmm. and 
I realized with our time apart how much I really did love him and vice versa. I think it's okay to break up with somebody, you know, and just see how you feel about that. Montana Moore. Eamon Diesel. Montana. Quentin. Montana. Langston. Montana. Curtis. Hi. You learn a lesson and you move on. And you're not, you don't be so hard on yourself because things that I did at 21, me at 28, I would never do again. And you learn and you become a better person and hopefully you, like I said, you learn from those mistakes. Um, you don't live with regrets. You don't hold on to the past. And you try to make better decisions and choices, you know? And yeah, I am still on that path. <laughs> Shining bright like a diamond. You never know, there might be a do-over. <laughs> Shall know. <laughs> Montana, would you? Oh, yes, she will.